Hello everyone, welcome back to the YouTube channel, and today we are playing Coffee Talk, part 10. Let's get into it. October 2nd, 2020. Headphones feel weird. The evening whispers is with the people for strict gun laws. New healthier fury sedative might be available soon. Action video game raising <coughs> blamed for violence in school. Mm. <laughs> no comment on that. Welcome. Oh, good evening, Mr. Bailey's. Good evening. Am I the first customer tonight? You are. That's new. Freya's not here? She said she's coming later tonight. Got something to do with meeting some fellow writer friends? Why not do it here? It's her favorite place, right? Her friends have visited this place from time to time, just not as much as her. Writers gathering, huh? I wonder what writers talk about when they're hanging out. I've known them for some years now. She has this habit, you know, if she's saying they're friends, it means they're just hanging out normally. But if she says they were writer friends, they're probably talking about work. Either giving each other feedback on their latest drafts, or sharing and validating ideas. Interesting. They even use code words for meeting up. Oh, it's not like that. She doesn't even realize that's what she says. I just picked up on it. That's even more interesting. Are you always so observant? It's part of the job. Why is that? People come here every day. Some of them aren't as talkative as others, but their body language can be loud and clear. I can tell you a lot of things. Whether they need a friendly ear or just want to be alone. It applies to what they're ordering as well. Because, you know, sometimes what people want is not what they need. That's deeper than I would have thought. So, what are you reading from me now? I won't say. Why? It would break the charm. <laughs> the hell was that? I guess I could say this much. Whatever I say or do to our customers, it's always related to what I'm getting from their body language. Including our interaction now. Including our interaction now. Man, now I see why you didn't want to share. Even that was enough to make me feel like I'm naked in front of you. By the way, I haven't ordered anything. What are you having tonight? Hot chocolate. With ginger and cinnamon. I heard that's a good drink for a better heart. Okay, so hot cocoa with ginger and cinnamon. Brew? Bitter heart. So I did it right. Okay. It'll be okay. Here you go. Hmm. You're a pretty romantic person, huh? Spending extra time decorating this drink? Only for special people and special drinks. Say Sunflower. Tell me about yourself. What do you want to know? Anything. How old are you? Old enough to open a coffee shop. <laughs> oh man. I guess I should say sorry for asking that. It's alright. But that's the only answer I can give. Now you're making me wonder. 
what I should ask next. Who is this? Oh my god. Is she okay? Hello everyone. Are you good? Why are you looking at me like that? Freya, you look horrible. No, I don't. Yeah, you do. No, I don't. Unfortunately, I'm going to have to echo our dear barista. Yeah, you do. What happened? You'd be better asking what didn't happen. Because the answer would be proper sleep. And a decent progress on my draft. You need to rest. And miss my deadline? Hell no. Sorry, Baileys. I won't be able to keep you company. Because I have to finish this thing. And for that, I'll need a whole hell of a lot of espresso. Are you sure about that? You really should get rest. Getting something to help you sleep. Espresso, please. All right. That's what she wants, that's what she wants. Here's your espresso. I don't want to do this. You really need to have a rest, Freya. Just give me the damned espresso. Okay. Ah. Uh, that'll keep me from falling asleep. Ugh. How was the meeting? It was pretty good. I got a lot of good advice. But that also means things and not a small number of them, mind you, need to be rewritten. Oh. Oh. It's not that bad. Rewriting is part of the process. It's just that... It's just... I'm going to my usual corner. Thanks to your coffee, I might make it through the night. Ugh. She looks horrible. She does. But don't worry about her. She'll finish it. This isn't the first time she's acted like this. No. Sadly. But this time, the stakes are pretty high. Hmm. So, what brings you here today? I'm not even sure myself. I had no plan tonight. And this place just came to mind. Out of the blue. I'll have to thank your subconscious for that. I guess you should. Who comes in next? <gasps> oh my god! Not sure whether I should think it or not, though. Hi, Lua. Hi, Baileys. How, how... You first. No, you first. I was just going to ask, how are you doing? I'm fine, thanks. How about you? Also, if you don't know what's happening right now, these two used to be together, and she didn't want to drag him away from his family because he's an elf, and elves don't like succubus, and he wanted to just say whatever and just go with her. It's all it's all in like the first or second episode. I'll put a card right up here so that you can go watch that if you haven't watched that. Anyways, back to it. I'm good. Yeah. Oh. Hmm. I think I need to order something first. Oh, of course, of course. Go ahead. Hi, Sunflower. What are you having this evening, Miss Lua? Gingerbread coffee, please? Okay, so coffee and gingerbread honey? No, I don't feel like it's honey. 
gingerbread. When you think of gingerbread, she wanted coffee. When you think of gingerbread, you think of ginger and cinnamon, right? Gingerbread's ginger and cinnamon, right? We're gonna go with that. Gingerbread coffee, okay, cool. Here it is. Thank you. My grandma used to make this drink for me. It reminds me so much of her. It reminds me of when I was growing up with my family. Ooh, how's work? It's going pretty okay. You? I'm not taking any new jobs on at the moment. Because, well, you know, yeah. I get it. You have enough in your savings, right? That's a very Lua thing to ask. But yeah, I do. Thanks to that last annoying job, it went well in the end. It kind of did. They paid me on time, at least. And the pay was amazing. How long are you planning to take a break for? I don't know. Until my problems are settled, I guess. And what problems are those? Oh, I'll tell you this, but don't tell anyone else, okay? Not even Sunflower who's standing in front of us? Not even Sunflower. Okay. So there's this girl. I love her. We've been going out for a few years, but I'm not really sure where we stand now. How can you not be sure? We had an argument about a week ago. It wasn't anything new, but somehow things escalated uncontrollably. Why is that? I assume both of us were just tired. Knowing that we're fighting against centuries of tradition. Go watch that episode. If you don't know what's happening, please go watch that episode. We haven't really talked since our last fight. Leaving things unresolved is not a good idea, but I can't bring myself to start the conversation. Why? Even I'm not sure about that. Pride, maybe? Or tiredness? Or knowing that chances are we won't be able to find the best solution for anyone anyway? Bailey's. I have a question. Go ahead. What do you think she's feeling right now? To be honest, I don't know. She's not like me, that's for sure. Thankfully. Why? At least it won't affect her professional life that much. I'm glad I'm a freelancer. It means I can just take a break from work without so many problems. I'm not as professional as her, you see. I think you're wrong. Really? If I were her, I would find it difficult to live life as usual. But I would, I'd put on a lot of masks just to hide the feelings I was going through. That sounds difficult and uncomfortable. It is. But a friend told me once, you gotta do what you gotta do. He must be a pretty cool guy. He is. What's next for us, Baileys? I don't know, Lua. I... I met some new people this week. Including that supermodel? You knew. That girl in the corner told me. Yeah including that supermodel. And how does that make you feel? Like a fool. What? He said a lot of things that I've been trying to avoid thinking about. A lot of truths. He's a bit like you, you know. Attitude-wise. You'd get along with him. Doubt it. Opposites attract, but similarity breeds contempt. Ever heard that before? A lot. 
from a certain hipster elf. And after listening to that guy, what's your stance on, you know, us? Oh, boy. I'm not sure, Baileys. What about you, yourself? Had any similar experiences this week? I have, in fact, you met a vampire and I met a werewolf. He. <laughs> what are the odds? What are the odds indeed? What did your werewolf say? Mm, not much, to be honest. But he made a good point about the importance of family. Bailey's, I know I've been stubborn about you wanting me to make peace with my family. And I know why that's very important for you. But Freya said something that kind of hit me hard. What was that? I was just using you as an excuse to escape my family, when I actually want to do that anyway, for myself. You know me, Baileys. I do. And you know how I feel uncomfortable with people leaving their families, which makes me an asshole, I guess. I get why you think that way, Lua. Blood is thicker than water. Um, I don't think that that's how that really goes. Anyways. What should we do? Lua? Yes, Baileys? Please let me leave my family. I'll try to get your family to accept me. That sounds like the easier thing to do, after all. But you'll lose your immortality. You'll be an outcast among other elves. An outcast from a bunch of overly pretentious people sounds great you'll live a long time but you won't have the perfect health and perfect life that's the elven privilege but it's not a perfect life without you what if our relationship doesn't last you'll have lost everything you'll blame me Lua I will never blame you for anything if we're talking about who I used to be, that guy would never have blamed himself. A hundred reasons for why something failed, but never anything to do with him. But that won't happen with us. You know why? Because I've learned so many things by being with you for 10 years. It makes me a better person, so you don't need to worry about any of that. Because right now, you're the most important part of my life. I don't need a mortal life. Because without you, it wouldn't be a life worth living. Baileys, I... Ugh. I believe in you. <gasps> oh my goodness! Oh my goodness! Love of my life. Oh my god! Lua. Baileys. I feel like we're living in a soap opera. Um, you kind of are? <laughs> it seems so. So, what's our plan? Tomorrow's Saturday. Are we going on a date? I'm going to my parents' place. Oh. And I want you to come with me. What? That's so sudden. Did you already have plans for tomorrow? Well, no. It's just, I'm not prepared to meet them. You'll be fine. You don't want to tell them about this first? They'll be alright. Well, they never forbade you from dating another race. They're not big fans of elves. That much is true. But you can prove them wrong. Hmm. Okay. This could be a good first step. It is. It's set then. I don't know what'll happen tomorrow, but we can think about it. And anything else. Later. 
I'm with you on that. So, does that mean you don't mind me? I had my doubts, but now I'm sure. I can trust you. Lua, thank you. Are you still staying at Farron's house? Yeah. You're staying with me tonight. Huh? What about your roommate? She's away for the weekend. Taking a long weekend getaway until Sunday night. Fate is on our side, it seems. Hey, Sunflower. Yes? We're leaving. Thank you so much for keeping up with us this past week. The pleasure was mine. We're off, then. See you. Thank you for coming. Oh. My. God. <laughs> oh, she looks better now. That was pretty intense. Oh, you're back in real world? I just pretend not to notice. They're like one of the main reasons why I'm writing the story. So I have to see their struggle through till the end. It's important for the writing, you know. That's cold. What? It's not like that. It's just that... Yeah, that was cold. I'm sorry. You look better than before, though. For now. I can't tell you how I feel until it's done. And I don't... What was that? Oh my god! What's happening? Is that the doctor? That's the doctor! <gasps> okay, calm down. Calm down. Oh my god! Whoa! Freya, get over here. This wolf? Is that him? I think so. Welcome, sir. Arrgh. Are you crazy? You can't treat a werewolf in a fury like a normal customer. Trust me. He must have his reasons for coming here. You can relax, sir. Do you need anything? Something to calm you down, maybe? Just give him the drink! The tea? Okay, so we need to figure out the... We need to figure out the drink. Okay, so uh, I don't remember what it was. Let me see if it's in my... Oh. Okay, okay, okay. Um. D tea? Um, something calming. Calming. Milk is calming. And ginger. Ginger is calming, too. Warm, cool, and bitter. Yeah, we're, we're just gonna do that. Because I know ginger's tea is calming. Go ahead. Go ahead. Okay. Here's your... Gala had a fit. Okay, his breathing is slowed. What's happening? What the hell? Is that really him? After seeing the reaction to the drink, 100%. Well, whoever he is... This place survived. Yeah, you're telling me! <laughs> Thankfully, yes. But I think I need to close up shop early. Don't want to cause any more ruckus. And I need to clean up some of the mess anyway. Good idea. Can you get back all right by yourself? I'll manage. Take care on your way back. You be careful too. See you tomorrow. See you. Oh my god. There's so much happening in this one episode. It is insane. A perfect, if unlikely, combination of sour and bitter. Black lemon. Okay. Wow. That was a lot for that episode.
So we're going to end it there for today. Um, I hope you liked this episode. That was insane. We've got some love and some fury going on around here. If you want to see more of this game, let me know down in the comments below. And don't forget to leave a like. It helps me out a lot and it's free. So I guess I'll see you in the next one. Bye.